So Sonic the Hedgehog 5 has been leaked and it is a seemingly a true leak. So you guys know what that means, prepare for another Sonic the Hedgehog release and it's probably going to be quite a big one honestly. So we're going to discuss how this leak came about, its credibility, my thoughts on this leak, and what I think we'll be getting this game. But if you've been checking out these videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that way you don't miss videos like this. And if you're new here, hopefully you stick around. But anyways, let's get into this. So we very obviously had a crazy last year for Sonic. We had the Sonic Movie 2 release, Sonic Frontiers, Sonic Prime. That's a lot of stuff to fit in one year for Sonic the Hedgehog. And now in 2023, we're seemingly getting the Knuckles TV show, Sonic Origins Plus, and now maybe a new Sonic 2D game, which is supposedly Sonic 5. I don't know if it'll actually be called Sonic 5. It sounds like a working title, or it just might literally be called Sonic the Hedgehog 5, which is pretty big, honestly. Honestly, it's kind of similar to like Metroid, where Metroid Dread is the fifth game in the series, but then you have the Prime series, which is its own separate series, kind of like 3D games. So Sonic 5 seemingly will be continuing the traditional aspect of Sonic, and it will be a 2D sprite-based game apparently, that is Modern Sonic. So it's a Modern Sonic 2D sprite-based game, which is like the advanced games. And a lot of this was kind of re-brought up through a Twitter account named SLN Broadcasting where they posted something that says, 2D Modern Sonic Game Info Leaked, what to know. A 2D Modern Sonic game is being developed by Sonic Team, it's going to run on the Retro Engine. The playable characters will be Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. It's expected to release sometime in 2023, but this is up in the air. And I'm going to be honest with you guys for a second. I actually had an insider tell me information about this before in the past. So I very much believe this myself because I've heard about this 2D game for quite a while now, at least two years. But there were some rumors that the game was kind of indefinitely canceled, but it was picked back up, and that may be true. But we do know one thing for sure is that Sonic Mania 2 was likely canceled. And I think Sonic 5 is going to be taking its place as the new 2D game instead of a Sonic Mania 2, which honestly, I'm okay with that because I would rather have a brand new Sonic game than a game that reuses older levels. Trust me, Sonic Mania is P -gaming. probably one of the best Sonic games ever made, but I do want to see some more original stuff and seeing the modern cast in 2D again seems like a really good idea and something that I think uh, a lot of people have been waiting to see. But I don't know if you guys remember this, but Kishimoto, the direct lead of Sonic Frontiers, actually confirmed the 2D game on his own on Twitter when he said this replying to someone on Twitter. Hello, there are 3D and 2D games in the Sonic game lineup, but I'm not involved in 2D games, so I'm sorry, I don't know what will happen. So there you go, guys. You have your Kishimoto confirmation, someone who works at Sonic Team, a leak confirmation, and then me saying the insider source that I heard this from confirmation. So this 2D game is more than likely happening. So again, expect to see it around 2023, maybe early 2024. That's when I'm expecting to see it personally. I don't know when this game will actually come out, but I feel like it's fairly soon and they really want to keep up this Sonic momentum, which I'm really happy Sega is doing that, that they're keeping up the momentum off of Sonic Frontiers in the movie. That's only going to make them more money and make the franchise more successful. Now, as long as these games are good and keep the quality going obviously because if the quality is not good then i don't want any more games that aren't good but overall this is very good news and of course you can expect me to cover all the things related to this 2d sonic game every trailer every piece of detail that probably comes out i'll probably cover and talk about it because i'm pretty excited for a new 2d game it's been a while well new stuff that is not reusing older stuff now when it comes down to my thoughts it being called sonic 5 is funny that means Sega does officially recognize Sonic 4 as Sonic 4. So therefore, Sonic 5 is going to be Sonic 5, or it will just have a completely different title that they could just use in place of Sonic 5. But in general, this is going to be the fifth, I guess, mainline 2D Sonic game, which I really just can't wait to see. And I hope that there's a lot more playable characters this time around rather than the classic Sonic Tails and Knuckles. And I want to see characters like Shadow playable in 2D, or even like random stuff like Silver or Blaze or Espio. I think that would be the perfect opportunity to implement those characters in a 2D game, as we've never really had them in 2D like that, maybe with the exception of Blaze and Sonic Rush. And Shadow has never been playable in the Advanced series, obviously, but he always had a sprite that was already Sonic Advanced like from Sonic Battle. So I personally would really just like to see that. And something else they need to do in this 2D game is give these characters completely different movesets. Like Sonic and Shadow need to play different. I think that would make it a lot more interesting. 
And because this is a pixel game, I'm really interested how the level design is going to turn out since they're not relying on 3D, so it will probably be pretty good since it's on Retro Engine. So the rolling physics and momentum and all that stuff is probably going to be pretty decent. Um, it's just more so down to the level design, what I'm really worried about with Sonic Team. Can they really make these banger levels again? We shall see. But as we know, Kishimoto and the Frontiers team don't seem to be that involved when it comes to this 2D game. Seems to be held by a different group of Sonic team, like the A or B team or whatever. Probably the B team. But all in all, I'm pretty excited for this and hopefully the marketing is actually pretty decent for this game. If it's coming out this year, they don't have a whole lot of time to start marketing. They kind of need to start over the summer, I believe, if it's going to come out around the same time the Frontiers came out last year. But anyways, those are my thoughts, and this is what I think about Sonic 5, and Sonic 5 is definitely coming. I just don't know when, but hopefully it turns out to be a great game, and we all enjoy the game. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one.